Today I am doing pop six. I haven't done pop six in a while and it's kind of cold and I figure why not make some pop six so we can uh, have some warm bread and to keep the house warm. So that's what I decide to do. And I figure since I'm doing, I haven't done a video, I'll show you how I make my pop six. And here I have 10 cups of um, flour. And then in here, I have six cups of warm water, three tablespoons of yeast, of uh, Crisco, two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, and three tablespoons of um, yeast. So I'm gonna start making my um, yeast. So I'm gonna put the yeast and then the sugar. Sugar will wake up that yeast and put them Make them uh, wake up and mix this. And once it's real well combined, uh, we wait a few minutes until it start bubbling. And then when it start bubbling, um, we begin making the bread. Okay, my yeast start bubbling. I'm gonna pour into my uh, flour. I'm gonna put my salt. Okay, I'm forget the salt. And then I'm also gonna put the Crisco. And I'm just gonna squish that Crisco with my hands. And then I'm gonna pour my water. And I'm just gonna mix all this until it's all combined. I have a video already making bread, like my mom used to make it, but um, my kids love the pop six. So I figure, well, why don't I make some pop six? Now I need to get some more water. I, I'm using a different flour. So, you know, different flour, um, it changes. Let me get some more. So I have to, I'm going to add another half a cup of water and then we'll see. Like I said, all the flours, it changes um, how much water sometimes you need. I ran out of the flour that I usually use. So... I'm using a different kind, so that's why, because usually that amount of, flour, of water is enough. But you kind of have a feel. That's the thing about making dough. A little bit more. It's kind of still a little hard. So maybe about three-fourths of a cup that I had total. Anyway, so you just mixed all this. You want this well combined. You can also do this in your mixer. But for some of you who know me, I like to use my hands because that's how I feel the dough. And you kind of just want to combine all this. And then uh, I'm going to leave it here for... 10 minutes, I'm gonna cover and leave it for 10 minutes and then I come back and give it a hand and then now uh, I'll show you when I come back. Okay friends, it's been 10 minutes that I made my dough. So now I'm gonna give a hand and I'm getting my hands wet and I'm gonna start pulling and doing some flips until the dough starts coming apart from the pan and then you'll you can see now at this point the consistency if it was too hard um, you would add if it needed more water you would add some now at this point if it needed more flour like I said it depends the flour it depends the day then you would add a little bit more water but this one is just right perfect and as you can see it start pulling away 
from the bowl. And that's what you want. And you make those flips and it makes this smooth dough really nice and smooth. Now I'll get my hands wet. So I can do a better flip so my the dough doesn't grab in my hands. And you don't have to be real hard. You just want to kind of stretch a little bit of that gluten. And that's it. And look, look how smooth that is. That's what you want. So we're gonna leave it here for another 30 minutes or until it doubles in size. So uh, I'm gonna cover again and put it aside in a warm place. It's been 35 minutes and my dough has doubled in size. So now I'm gonna shape my pop six. And uh, I'm gonna cut it as much as I can to form them. And you want however size you want the shape of the pop six. And in here I have some cornmeal, and that's what I'm doing. I'm uh, shaping into little balls. And that's what we're going to do to the, all the dough. You shape it into these little balls and put it aside. And then we begin forming the pop six. Um, I'm going to pull, pull, pull them all aside. And I formed them. We kind of let them rest for about five minutes. Um, so they kind of little relax. They're going into shock right now because we're cutting them in this way. Um, they'll relax and it'll be easier to do the rest. I'm getting my hands wet on, on the water so the dough doesn't stick too much so it becomes hard to, to shape. So, anyway. That's what I'm going to do to make our pop six. And you can do this early in the morning and uh, then you will have nice warm bread by lunch. It's past lunch time here, but we'll have nice warm bread for dinner. My mom used to make bread. Every Friday, she would cook bread. And then um, she would, uh, uh, if she ran out, or she would do the bulge lift, or she would buy the pop six and the regular bread that the bakery, would, the guy would come through the town. And all you're doing is bringing the ends together and to form into the pop sick. I'm just gonna make pop six. I'm not gonna make nothing else. And then what the flour does, it helps not to stick. That's all you do. Bring those ends together. There's nothing like a fresh popsicle, warm popsicle with my butter. Nothing. Here, friend, I'm gonna make two, two big loaves, but I'm gonna put some of my shitties I just made in it. It's raw, it's not cooked. Just gonna put it in there and it's gonna be my dinner. The shitties 
with uh, with a cup of tea. It's gonna be delicious. So I'm just gonna put some there. And I'm gonna roll it to form, form kind of a loaf. I've never done it this way, but I don't see why not. I'm going to put it in here in my towel. I'm going to do another one. Okay, friends, it's been five minutes, and now I'm going to start shaping my Pop 6. And I'm going to put them in this towel. And I'm going to, I've seen this done. And that's how I'm going to try. That's how usually how I do my pop six. Here's I, my bread ready, waiting to go to the oven. My pop six, just waiting. Here he is, friends, my pop six. I haven't made it in a while, so it's kind of out of practice, but they are delicious and they're so light. It's like eating a little piece of a cloud. So anyway, here's my pop six. Now you try this recipe and uh, try to make your own because of uh, it's easy and they are delicious. So, and until next time, let's get cooking.